data is the new oil of today. Business analytics, data science, machine learning, all these words revolve around one core concept, and that core concept is data. Business analytics has always been relied on data for many years now. In the past 10 or 15 years per, per se, there's been a boom in data being generated in the world, primarily because of handphone, IoT devices, internet, Lots of new devices have been generating lots and lots of data recently. It's only because of this huge explosion of data that the world has taken notice of what the value can be unlocked in data. So for us, uh, data is very important, primarily because it can be used in many business applications, create new products, improve services and products for people, and uh, create new uh, applications to, to apply the data. So why is data the new oil? Basically, there's one key word you must understand that's in the data, and that is pattern recognition. Inside data, there are lots and lots of patterns, relationships, association, correlation, and so on and so forth. Now, businesses use this data, they process the data, they clean the data, with one sole purpose to unlock the patterns in the data. Inside the patterns, they can establish insights. Understand what is the customer liking? What is the customer complaining about? What is... For example, the trend analysis in the data. They understand all this by looking at the patterns and the trends, either to statistical relationships, to tables or graph and chart. They identify important patterns. They prioritize the patterns and the insights of the data to make decisions. Now, the value of data is always in the decision-making to optimize their business processes, to clear bottlenecks in their business processes. That's why data is now very valuable today. Not just in business, but in industry, in government, it influences a lot of decision making. As you can see, the last one, decisions, governments, industry, and even businesses all alike have been using data to solve problems and make decisions. The reason why data has exploded because small companies now can take advantage of the data. With cloud computing, other technologies, we have startups like Grab, Carousel. All these new startups come up because they take advantage of the data. Uh, Dropbox eBay, all these take advantage of data to propel their business forward. Let's talk about data science. What is data science? You hear the word a lot, machine learning, AI, data science. Generally, they refer to understanding the data in the, the, the patterns in the, in the data. Using algorithms, using graphs and charts, we unlock the patterns in the data to understand what it is now. You must understand data science is a small specialized field because it involves machine learning a bit. Machine learning is a subset of AI, machine learning, data science. They all roughly mean the same agenda. To use, use the patterns in the data, again, the value is unlocking the future, making forecasts and uh, analysis of future events before they happen. You can predict, for example, in medical science, when the person is likely to get a heart attack. You can predict whether a person has a high risk of kidney failure. So and so forth. There are Actually, lots of applications, healthcare, pharmaceutical, and so on and so forth, and many other industries uh, in engineering, what machine learning can do. Every business wants the advantage. They want to automate their processes. They want to see trends and patterns. They want to have lots and lots of application of the predictive analytics. Like I mentioned before, if you can predict a machine is going to break down 10 minutes before it breaks down, would you let it break down? Of course not. You will call the engineer, to come and fix the problem before it actually breaks down and slows the entire business operation. If you can predict what a customer is likely to buy or what a customer likes, for example, you would recommend new products to the customer which you know from his pet purchasing pattern he likes or has a repeated uh, habit of buying certain kind of product. If you There's lots and lots of business application, industrial application. As we know, Smart Nation is all, uh, as a government push, a government drive to Use AI and together with other uh, technologies like big data, VR, and so on, to create the industry for experience for factories in Singapore as well. So AI is definitely the way ahead, not just a government level, industry level, business level, every single industry. If you want to be competitive, you want to be relevant, the keyword is future ready. AI is definitely something you need. And there's a huge demand in the future. How do we use AI? You can see on the screen here, there's so many applications of AI. Give you an example. If you use on Facebook, you upload a photo of your friend on Facebook. Facebook will automatically tag your friend for you. How does it do that? Facial recognition. Because Facebook deep, invested a lot in deep learning in facial recognition. Fraud detection. They can detect if a credit card uh, transaction is fraud. Medical diagnosis is well known in the medical field. 
AI can detect tumors, can detect Alzheimer's disease in x-rays or uh, CT scans, even better than doctors, they say. Okay, there's actually articles. Every one of you, how does your email, email inbox filter out the spam email from that from the normal email? Because there's a, a tiny AI, a KNN or nine bias AI algorithm that filters away the, the, the spam. How does it know it's a spam? Because the patterns of the words, the sequence of the words, the choice of words, very closely resemble the spam type of email. Again, the key word here is pattern recognition. There are lots and lots of applications, both at small scale, in large scale, in, in industry as well. Smart robots, computer vision platforms, natural language processing. If you look at your handphone, some of you may have Siri, some of you may have uh, Microsoft Cortana and so on and so forth. All these use AI, okay? Virtual assistant, speech recognition. They actually banks that use speech recognition to verify you are a person. As some of you go overseas, you use your passport in the machine, the passport reader. Again, that uses a technology called OCR. It's another form of AI. You can see how it speeds up the process of you entering Singapore. You don't have to queue in the long queue. There are lots and lots of application AI to really speed up the processes, make things faster, more efficient, and even cheaper in many cases. So there are lots and lots of uh, application AI in many industries. So Smart Nation, Government Initiative, IMDA is investing a lot in uh, AI applications to train people to take advantage of this uh, AI wave to really create many scientists who can take a, and apply this AI in their individual industries. Metaverse is one. Metaverse is coming. When Metaverse comes, there'll be lots and lots more data generated. 5G is coming. The transfer of data will be very fast. And another technology is quantum computing. These three technologies will really create a new shift in the, in the industry paradigm. Lots of industries will change. Lots of even households can buy Google glasses or the VR glasses. Their lives will change because the speed of the transmission will be very fast with 5G. And so, and, and quantum computing, you can do many more simulations, many more applications, many more things you can do with all this technology combined. So, as you can see on the screen, there is a national AI strategy. There's a in the digitized uh, digital transformation index. There's a lot of standards by the government. There's AI verified. There's a lot of initiative by the government, smart nations, so and so forth to really align Singapore's industry to take advantage of AI, to take advantage of all the technology, not just AI, because you must understand, despite the, the technologies industry for cloud computing, big data, IoT, so and so forth, AI is the brain. AI is the brain that links all the technologies together, that makes it flow, that makes it work together, that makes it coordinate together very nicely. AI is the one that makes the decisions. AI is the one that optimizes processes. AI, the one that predicts things that happen before they happen. You must understand that without AI, none of these technologies can fit or gel well together. So it's definitely aligned with government policies, not just Industry 4 or uh, Inertial AI strategy. There are lots and lots of other sectors that can benefit from the AI boom. All right, so now what can you do with a data science cert or a data science career? Obviously, data scientist is one, but you must understand data scientist is the master of the big picture. He must know his algorithms well. Neural networks is a must. Handle big data technology is another must. Cloud computing is another one. Another skill, guys, besides hard, hard skills like all I mentioned, soft skills like presentation to investor, communicating the, the machine learning results. It's not just a hard science per se. Data engineer is something you can do. Uh, for example, you can do pipelines, ETL pipelines, but you can also know, use the algorithms, use data science to leverage on the pipelines. Data storytelling, Tableau, Power BI, these are softwares that use data storytelling. You get definitely a need to be able to explain the machining results, interpret the, the uh, matrix of the machining. So that is something you must have understanding of data science. Data analysts, business analysts, finance analysts, these are all the same thing, but specialized domain. Finance, you need to know your financial matrix. You need to know the specialized algorithms that capture the time series. Digital marketing is another thing. Digital marketing is a huge industry that uses AI a lot. Okay, uh, personalized uh, personalized market uh, messages, clustering or or grouping of customers, so you can target marketing. All these uses machine learning. Okay, guys. All right. Next slide, please. All right. So there's a huge in, uh, in the uh, demand for AI, huge demand for data science, and as you can expect, industries are willing to pay. They are paying pay a premium dollar for these people who are qualified to do all this. 
data ethics, data visualization, algorithms, new networks, big data technologies are something which people will pay lots of dollars to be able to find the right professional with the skill set to handle all these Okay, for data science, if you're 40, uh, you have an advantage in a way because you have domain knowledge. I'm assuming you're in a particular industry like logistics or maybe uh, finance for many years. So to be honest, you have an advantage over undergrads. If I'm not, okay? So if you take an uh, AI diploma or AI master's per se, it's a feather in your cap. You can go back to work and say, hey, I know this new technology. When I started picking up AI, machine learning, all this, the reason is because pharmaceutical, biotech, and healthcare is very heavy in AI. And I also do bioinformatics. So I transited very nicely into the field, but I still stay within the bioinformatics domain. Of course, the more you the more you use it in industry, you'll be actually have an advantage that you become more mature, more experienced per se in handling projects, more experienced in handling data science requirements, even to satisfy the stakeholder and the boss. To be honest, you're in a better advantage. But obviously, the answer is you're not at a disadvantage. There's, it's just looking at a different way, in different light. Okay, you do not need a computer science background. Do not need to start, okay? This graduate diploma will teach you from the basics, assuming you don't even know how a single command in Python. So don't worry. There are lots and lots of people who come in, in the diploma, same as you. You're not alone. <laughs> You're not alone. We have not seen, this is not the first time we've seen people who do not know how to code in Python. I can dare say more than half you come in not knowing Python at all. Okay? So definitely, you're not alone. You come in industry, you know, don't know Python, don't know coding. I'm pretty sure you, you have some basic knowledge of maybe Word or Excel. That's fine. That's what we need, basically. Simply how to do Word, Microsoft, Excel, PowerPoint. It's good enough. You don't need a computer science background. Don't need to know algorithms. Don't need to know coding. The graduate diploma assumes all that already. It's already incorporated in the program. And definitely, you will definitely pick up fast.